All right, well, welcome back to See the Wood Turn. Uh, so last week we talked about the inventory and our supplies. Today we're going to talk about what we do to get it prepared to be mounted on the wood lathe to turn it into a bowl. Probably a lot of people think you cut a piece off and then you turn this out and you have a bowl. That is not because it's already round, so typically that's a lot what people think. But that's not at all how we do it because the grain is going in the wrong direction. One of the first things I do is look to see if there's any cracks on the end. If it's been sitting out here for a while, it dries, it cracks. I'll take the slice off and then go from there. Uh, in this case, I've been slicing off this one all day today, so we're pretty good. So we'll go ahead and cut the first piece off and then we'll show you what we do from there. Now, one thing I do before I cut is I want to cut the length of this log, how wide this is. So I have an even length to the width of the log or the diameter of the log itself. That's gonna allow me to get the biggest size bowl I can out of this log. If I cut a slice off, I can just toss that slice up on top here and it gives me the distance I need. If I don't, I just take a piece of bark or something, hold it up there like so, take my finger, then I'll set it on top like this. And then at the end of that bark is where I'm gonna make my cut. <laughs> Okay, once it's cut off, I got this big slab here from another uh, big log that I cut. Actually, it's that one over there. Um, and I just put it up on here, and I'm looking at a couple things. I'm looking for any uh, cracks on the other end, if anything was going through. Also, I'm looking at where the pith is located. Is it in the center of the log? Is it off to the side? Because you don't want the pith in the bowl, because that's where all cracks start. I want to try and get the biggest bowl I can out of this. This one's actually pretty uniform. Uh, so it wouldn't matter too much, but if I cut here, you can see this is going to be a narrow bowl than this one. If I cut it this one, this way, um, it looks pretty even actually. The other thing you want to check is to make sure the pith stays in the center all the way through. It's slightly off to the side. So if I turn it like this and cut it like this, you can see that's a pretty good sized bowl right there. Uh, and this will make more sense as we, as we get through this process and kind of explain it to you. So this might be a way I want to cut it. So I'm going to hold it like this, turn the back around and see if it makes sense on this side. And yes, actually it does. It looks like this will be a good size bowl on this side. So we can get one bigger bowl and then a smaller bowl. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this right down like this and uh, end up with two pieces. <laughs> All right, so now you can see we have two pieces. And the reason why I cut it this way, some people cut it this way. When you do it this way, you're actually cutting off the, all the grains are going like this, the grains this way. So you're chopping off these uh, and it cuts harder. If you do it this way, it's ripping those out kind of. And you can see you get much longer pieces instead of just short little fibers, um, short little pieces coming off. It just cuts faster. So, I mean, people do it different ways, but that's how I do it. Not only is it right or wrong way, if it works for you, then that's what you do. Okay, so now we have two pieces that we can turn into bowls. Next thing we need to do is determine the size of the bowl. And we want to make it, of course, as big as we can. Now, these logs are pretty clean. There's no um, issues really, a rot or anything like that. So we can make the bowl the full size as best we can. So we have, uh, you know, a compass. I just got a Sharpie hooked to it, and we're just going to, work on finding where the center would be just by adjusting this a little bit and that's pretty close right there take the cover off the marker the first thing i do once i know i got it pretty much where it needs to be is i mark this center point right here i want to know where that is for later on so i just keep that and i just put a little dot right there and then i'll put a couple lines just so it pops out for me and go ahead and draw the circle Enough to be perfect because this is just a guide. Now what we want to do is we're going to be turning this on the lathe. So any of these corners sticking out like that, it's going to really beat you up with the tool. And you'll see that later. So I'm going to take the chainsaw and cut some of these, worst of these corners off. you can see we got it a lot more round than it was not looking for perfection here we're just looking to get it roughed down to the rough size to just take some of that 
<coughs> excuse me, some of that pounding out of us, you know, that we're not, we're not um, trying to cut off these big ends sticking out. The next thing we need to do is flip it over. And of course, that's not the shape of a bowl. The bowl, so this, this will end up being the inside of the bowl in this case. This will be the outside. And of course, the bolt's gonna go in like this. So all of this right here is just gonna beat me up on the lathe. So I wanna go ahead and remove some of these high points. The one on this end, that end, and some, I'll nip off some other little corners. <laughs> So as you can see now, I have, it's kind of coned up like the bottom of a bowl would be. And of course, it'll be flat and we're done. We're just trying to get it roughed out a little bit before we put it on the lathe to save us a lot of work. So that's how we prep it. And I'll do the same thing with the other half of this. And um, then they'll be ready to be put on the lathe. And that will be for another video. Now, sometimes people do it the other way and they're called live edge bowls. So if you were to make this the inside, and I'll show you that in a future video, but it can be done more than one way. Um, but this is a pretty common way to do it. So there you have it. That's, um, that's how I prep pretty much each of the bowls before they go in on the lathe. And next week, I will show you the different options we have to mount it on the lathe and get ready to turn it. So I uh, hope you like this video. I'll put a link down in the description to my website where I have uh, several items for sale that I've made. And of course, uh, stay tuned for the rest of the series of Log to Bowl. Again, thanks for coming by See the Wood Turn. And uh, during the week, I'll try and do some shorts and some other stuff too. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.